Hi everyone, welcome to Suresh Techs. If you are visiting our channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe Suresh Techs. HTML. Today we are going to concentrate on HTML. And in our previous tutorial we had seen about web application development. If you haven't watched that tutorial, please do go back and watch. Now what do you mean by an HTML? What is the importance of being HTML? So before start writing something in HTML, we should basically know few terms. Tag and an element. What do you mean by a tag? Tag, we, as we all know, consider you went to a shopping mall, you bought a new cloth. When you bought a new cloth, there will be a tag attached to the cloth. It tells about it tells about the cloth. It has brand of the cloth it will have the price of the cloth it will basically have all the information about that cloth and similarly there is some concept called tag in web application development tag describes about what you need to display in html a tag basically includes a less than symbol followed by a tag name and then a greater than symbol now if this is called the starting tag and there is a content in between this and there is something called ending tag so this is called ending tag and this is called a starting tag a tag will basically have a less than symbol followed by the tag name and then a greater than symbol right so this is called a tag and we will see more about this in coming tutorials now what do you mean by an element now we know that this is a tag consider there is something in between these two tags now the combination of the starting tag the content and the end tag is called an element now we know about the tag we know about the element right now what do you mean by html html stands for hypertext markup language what do i mean by hypertext Hypertext basically says that hyperlinks when you think about a web application when you think about a website there will be a lot of links available in the website when you click on a particular link you will be navigated to a different page when you when you click on some button something is going to happen so basically there will be a lot of links available and they are called hyperlinks so that's where that's where the name had come from it's called hypertext and what do I mean by markup markup language means a language which deals with tags we, we know a tag basically starts with a less than symbol followed by the tag name and then greater than symbol so the language which we are writing currently the HTML basically have all the tags and elements that's it so that's why HTML is called a markup language that's where that's why the name hypertext markup language now how do we write where do we write we develop using notepad plus plus the editor which we use is notepad plus plus so you can download notepad plus plus from notepad plus plus website and if you are already familiar with sublime text you can write you can write HTML in that it's not a problem but in this tutorial we are using notepad plus plus so if you don't have notepad plus plus please do install notepad plus plus and get ready now so far we had seen about the tags elements and some editors so i recommend you guys to download notepad plus plus and get ready don't worry about tags and elements if you are confused with this please be please wait for some time and in the next tutorial i am going to clarify that just think that tag starts with a less than symbol followed by a tag name and then a greater than symbol and an element basically will have a start tag and tag and the content inside that that's it don't worry about don't worry much about it now if, if you are familiar with a tag element and if you have editor with you installed in your laptop get ready to develop a website using HTML that's it for today Please do subscribe to Restex. Thank you so much.